back to my YouTube channel if you guys are new here. My name is Gianna Lan, and today we are tackling organizing my bookshelf. <laughs> I have not organized my bookshelf since I put it together and organized it right then and there. So this is very long overdue. I've currently been accumulating so many more books and I feel like I just need a quick little change. It's been like this forever. I kind of just am not really vibing with it anymore and change is always good. So today we are reorganizing my bookshelf and I also found a few little decor pieces that I didn't even know I had down in my basement. So we're gonna be decorating it a little bit, but I do in the future want to decorate my bookshelf a little bit better when I do redo my whole room. But yeah, I'll give you guys a quick overview of everything and how my bookshelf is currently and then we're just gonna get right into organizing it and I honestly don't even know what I want to do yet I'm debating if I want to do it by author's last names or genres I'm not too sure so we're just gonna go with the flow and see what I like the best I feel like <laughs> So cute. I got this sent to me. Okay, so now you guys have an overview of what my current bookshelf is looking like. We're just gonna take everything out and sort of organize it and kind of play around with all of the positioning that I basically want to do. I don't really know. I'm kind of conflicted, but we're just gonna go with the flow and see what works best and see what I like the best. Cue the time lapse. So excited to read this book. This is our current state. So as you guys just saw, I took all my books off. I have a stack on my desk as well, plus books surrounding me. It looks like I have so many more books when they're all laid out rather than up on my shelf. So that's kind of good. But I now need to figure out how I want to organize this. And I think I'm gonna make separate piles and I think I'm gonna have it by genre mostly, but I wanna have a shelf or a section for my favorites because I've seen a lot of people kind of do it that way as well. So I'll have it mostly organized by genre and then I'll have my favorites. And then I might include like an immediate TBR pile shelf little area too, but that's up in the air still. I'm not too sure if I want to do that. And then after I organize everything, I'll show you guys and then we'll do a little bit of decorating and hopefully I will be happy with that after. But this is our current situation and how we're looking right now. We have books all around us and then the pile behind me as well. This should be interesting, but it's gonna be fun and I'm excited. Okay, let's separate.
Okay guys, so I just finished organizing everything. So we have our romance pile here. I had to make it into two separate piles a little bit. We have general fiction right here. We have my two fantasy books that I have. And then both of these piles right here are both mystery slash murder mystery thriller. I might have to separate them, but I have a lot of those. Right here, we have my favorites, but I'm gonna have to go through that because there are a few more that I have that are my favorites. Then right here is like self-help, nonfiction, more like memoirs, poetry books, all that. And then, oh, I didn't even go through that. Oh my God, I have one more to go through. I didn't, I didn't even see that one. Okay, now we are officially done. We have lots of books just surrounding me. I think it's a vibe. <laughs> but now we're gonna actually organize them and this should be interesting, so here we go. Okay, we're just gonna go with the flow and then I'll explain to you guys everything that I did after in the final reveal. I'm kind of nervous, but we're just gonna go for it. That is insane. <laughs> I kind of want to keep series together though. Oh, this one has to go into favorites. These are immediate TBR that I really need to get to. Oh, this one has to go into favorite. And so does this one. I'm losing my daylight. I literally live in Ontario, and if you guys know anything about Ontario, you know that we don't have a lot of light going on in the winter season, so I'm working with what I got, but I'm sorry that it is getting a little bit dark. But I did finish organizing my bookshelf. I don't know how I feel about it right now, but I feel like I will warm up to it. But we are gonna decorate it now before I show you guys the final overview. And yeah, I'm just gonna show you some of the things I got. I found these like fake little plants in my basement that I literally didn't even know I had so I think these will be like a cute little touch I think I'm mostly excited for this I don't even remember buying this but it's literally so cute and it's purple my favorite color so I'm gonna add this somewhere on my shelf as well and then I have a few other things but we're just gonna decorate it and then see how I like it and play around with it Yay! Oh, one more thing. My cup. Hmm. Okay, now I think we are complete. Can't really think of anything else to add right now, but I'm sure I'll find some more things to add to my bookshelf. Now that it's finished, I can finally give you guys the total overview with everything all complete.
this is the completed bookshelf. I'm very happy with it. The only part I'm kind of a little bit iffy on is just my favorites up there. It just looks like it's really stacked up there, but I have a lot of favorites, what can I say? But to go through it all, I just have my general fiction here, just mainly fiction, the little balloon, little decor. These are all of my current favorites that I have. Then down here on this whole shelf is just romance. And then this is my biggest one. I have all of my mystery thriller, murder mystery going on. And then here's my hardbacks for mystery and thriller. And then down here on the bottom shelf, I have my little mug that one of you sent me. So grateful. I have my little plants going on. I have nonfiction slash like memoir, self-help books. And then the last one is my immediate TBR that I really want to read coming very soon. And then I just threw my little notebook tabs and bookmarks down there. I don't know where to put them right now, but I'm pretty happy with how it came out. And also I wanted for romance specifically, I wanted to keep sort of the series together. So we have both books and the, I don't know what the series is called, but it's the paradise one. We have the Summer I Turn Pretty trilogy series. And then I kept the One of Us is Lying series together from all the ones that I do have. I think it's a vibe. Yay, the sun is coming out just a little bit. Perfect for my outro of this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed coming along to reorganize and decorate my bookshelf. I actually had a lot more fun than I thought I was going to. I thought that it was gonna take me forever and it was just gonna be a pain in the butt, but I am pretty happy with the outcome and it's always good for some new change, which I was really needing. Let me know down below in the comments how you guys organize your bookshelf because I know there's so many different ways out there and I wanna find new ways that I can organize it in the future because I was running out of ideas I'm not gonna lie so let me know down below in the comments because that would be greatly appreciated other than that if you guys enjoyed today's video please make sure you like comment subscribe all that YouTube stuff you guys know how to do and with that I hope you guys are having an amazing wonderful day and I'll see you next time bye oh my gosh it's gonna take forever okay here goes nothing oh shit and I want to find new hello